Today, no war has been declared. And however fierce the struggle may be, it may never be declared in the traditional fashion. Our way of life is under attack. All it takes for evil to prosper is for good people to do nothing. And that is exactly what's happening today. As people who are crying out to family members and friends, to local law enforcement and the FBI, to their government, their military, to the private corporations who are involved in this for help, are being met with silence, or even worse, ridicule. They are being accused of being crazy. They're being accused of being paranoid and schizophrenic. And as I will detail, mental health organizations are complicit in this rendering false psychological diagnoses to completely cover up what is in fact a social engineering program and a covert research and development program for some of the most sophisticated and advanced technology that the world has ever seen. This disturbing message is for the several million Americans and for anyone else who cares deeply about the future of their country and the planet Earth. The U.S. is in grave danger. Strangely, the peril is not from foreign enemies, but from enemies within. The United States and much of the Western world is ultimately controlled by an unelected, unaccountable cabal. Its apex is the banking and financial cartel, followed by the oil cartel, the CEOs of the largest and most powerful transnational corporations, major intelligence agencies, including the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA, and a major slice of the U.S. military. Their collective power and influence is incalculable. And it is their plan for the U.S. and the rest of us that is so alarming. Automated computers, supercomputers, software programming will manipulate the emotions and the behavior and the thoughts of everybody in the United States of America. It's horrible. It's horrifying. And it is a crime against humanity. This is something that needs to be tackled by lawyers and civil rights advocates immediately. We need laws right fucking now to stop this thing because it is out of control and it is only getting worse. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. And I know for a fact, having been an insider and actually been a part of this program and seen it operate on a day-to-day -day basis, I am aware that there are now entire cities in America that are nothing more but a massive social engineering experiment. For well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. What these people have done is turned this technology into a video game. And that is exactly how they approach it. They approach it as though they are playing a cross between Sid Meier's civilization on their computer and Sims, where they are controlling all of civilization and also controlling people on the individual level. The overall effect of this technology is one that can control the mood, the attitudes, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, and thus the motivations, and then the actions of the target. All day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It is a highly sophisticated technology. It is one that produces literal and total and complete mind control over the targeted individual. And it is in the hands right now of people that are using it 
for nefarious purposes, extremely evil and destructive purposes against individuals like myself. I am now a target of this technology because I have decided to speak out about it. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. I was told not to reveal certain things, or they would kick my ass, kill me, and dump me in a lake. This is why, before going public, I reported all of this to the FBI four times. I reported all of this to local and state police. I reported all of this to everyone and anyone I could, trying to blow the whistle on my company, on Amazon, and on the federal government of the United States of America. Unfortunately, what I was told was, not that I'm crazy and we have no idea what you're talking about, I was told by the Federal Bureau of Investigations and by the Tempe Police Department that what you are describing is a federal program. We know exactly what it is, and as a result, there is absolutely nothing we can do about it. It's obvious that in this day and age, an American citizen cannot come forward to blow the whistle on a highly illegal, unconstitutional program that is being used to torture the American people each and every day. I'm sorry, but that is unacceptable. It is your job to protect the American people. It is your job to investigate high crimes and felonies that have been committed by the people that have been entrusted with the safekeeping of this country, our Constitution, and the American people. Unfortunately, what's happening in America today is all of the people who have been charged with our protection have fallen asleep at the wheel. They have failed to live up to their oath. And either through complicity or complacency, they are either making or allowing this nightmare to occur on American soil. This social engineering program experiments on the homeless population and the general population of Seattle, utilizing what most people know as voice-to-skull technology. However, this technology is infinitely more advanced than most people know. It can be used to completely control the thoughts and emotions of the target, and thus it can be used to control the target's actions. This program is illegal, unconstitutional, and absolutely terrifying. Because this technology could potentially be, be being used against tens to hundreds of millions of Americans every day. It can literally stop your own thoughts from happening and replace them with other thoughts uh, by sending thoughts to your head. And it's so sophisticated that you cannot tell where these thoughts are coming from. There's no way to, to discern that they are coming from somewhere other than your own mind. So you can imagine how bad this would be for people that don't even realize this technology exists. And they're having these thoughts which they think are spontaneous. And that's exactly what it can be used for. It can be used to sway people in terms of their opinion, to make them go along with a certain agenda. It can be used to turn groups of people or individuals against each other. But when you consider that use of it, and the fact that it is used for emotion and thought and behavior modification, that we could potentially be looking at many, many millions of people across the country that are under the influence of the technology uh, today, right now. Many of the homeless test subjects of this program start out as highly educated, successful people. Their lives are systematically destroyed by this program using voice-to-skull technology, organized stalking, career sabotage, and an intense character assassination effort which isolates them from society, leaves them unemployed, and turns family and friends against them. It is a highly illegal program. It is being abused by people who have no regard for the welfare of those people who are being experimented upon. They're evil in a way that I cannot understand and I do not want to understand. It was my differences of opinion with them once I became aware of the full extent of this program that caused me to object, to confront them about it, to eventually quit my job over it. And as a result, I became a target of this program myself. They beam into my head now on a daily basis. You're the lab rat now, motherfucker. Don't you ever fucking cross us. And don't you dare think 
about speaking out about this or we'll fucking kill you. If you are a targeted individual out there, I know how difficult your life is because I'm one too. And I want to personally apologize for the role that I played in this program as an employee of SIS, Security Industry Specialists, in Seattle, Washington. What I did and what my company did is still doing, what the Amazon Corporation is doing and what everybody I'm about to name in this podcast is doing is unacceptable, it is illegal, and it must be stopped immediately. If you are undergoing torture every single day and every single night, if you are miserable because of what these people are doing to you with voice to skull technology, emotion manipulation technology, I want you to know that you're not alone. There are millions of Americans across this country that are crying out for help from their neighbors, from their family, from their friends, from their co-workers, and they are met with a wall of silence and confusion as the general public is simply not educated enough on this topic to be able to offer any real help. Also, the people who are running this program are the most powerful people in this country, and therefore anyone like myself who tries to take action against them is in for the fight of their life. Within this research and development context, there's an application of voice to skull technology that is known as Hive Mind. It is currently many, many hundreds of years more advanced than what people are generally aware of. And to the targeted individual who is isolated, you can understand what a nightmare this is, as the complementary program of organized stalking isolates them from everybody else in their community, and they have nowhere to turn for help. It is for the victims that I am doing this. It is for the people that are alone and that are scared and that are being tortured by their government every single day knew that once I decided to go public, uh, the most powerful people in this country were going to be pissed off at me. And they are. Since uploading my first podcast, I have been harassed nonstop. There has been a tenfold increase in the nastiness of the attitude that I'm dealing with from the people who are assigned to gang stalk me. They have also threatened my life. It's obvious that I have pissed off the wrong people. What these people have done is turned this technology into a video game. And that is exactly how they approach it. They approach it as though they are playing a cross between Sid Meier's civilization on their computer and Sims, where they are controlling all of civilization and also controlling people on the individual level. The overall effect of this technology is one that can control the mood, the attitudes, the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, and thus the motivations, and then the actions of the target. All day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It is a highly sophisticated technology. It is one that produces literal and total and complete mind control over the targeted individual. And it is in the hands right now of people that are using it for nefarious purposes, extremely evil and destructive purposes against individuals like myself. I am now a target of this technology because I've decided to speak out about it and try to shed some light on it and try to get some progress. As many of the test subjects, so-called, the people are being experimented on, or as within the program as they're called a target, as many of them have already learned, one of the key means of covering up this program is to use the psychological profession to do so. Those who speak out about this issue are funneled to psychiatrists for evaluation to render a diagnosis of schizophrenic, multiple personality disorder, delusional, paranoid, depressed, upon the test subjects, the targets, so that they will be discredited, so that if they talk out any further or they ever start making any progress against this program, they are inherently discredited because the, those who run this program will simply release the psychological files and claim that the person is mentally ill. 
This is a perfect way to cover up such a technology whose main feature and most popular feature, most well-known feature, is voice to skull, which induces sound within the cranial cavity of the test subject, of the target themselves, so that when that person goes to speak out about it, when they go to seek help from their fellow human beings, and their fellow human beings say, what is it that's happening to you? The target will then say, I'm hearing voices inside my head. Obviously, if members of the general public are not aware of the existence of this technology, which many of them are not, most of them are not, then they will interpret that as concerning. They will feel concern for the target. And they will conclude that this person must be crazy. And as a result, they will recommend psychological evaluation for that person. You can see the way this is going to go and the way it is going right now. As good people, helpless people that are being abused and tortured and enslaved and experimented upon in America today, American citizens cry out for help from their fellow Americans and their fellow Americans say, why don't you take some Prozac because we think you're schizophrenic. Well, this is a highly technical program. All of the symptoms are induced by a technology that is so fucking sophisticated, it is horrifying beyond description. This technology can be used to beam images and even motion pictures into one's brain. Images and motion pictures that are so realistic that you think you're actually watching a movie or seeing something in reality. It's like a virtual reality 3D rendering that takes place within the target's mind. This technology can also be used to control the muscle movement of the target. It can take over one's hands or feet while driving and make you press on the accelerator or press on the brake or turn. This can be used to cause accidents. It can also be used to prevent accidents from happening. This technology can also tap into the optical nerve of the target and the auditory system of the target so that those monitoring the target can see what the target is seeing and hear what the target is hearing. This information is then downloaded and stored on a computer in a highly secure classified site on servers that are guarded by some of the tightest security in the world. This results in the individual's entire day, everything they see, everything they hear, everything they experience, and everything they feel being recorded till the end of time. This technology can also be used to manipulate the emotions of the target. It can induce fear, love, hate. It can cause you to be nervous. It can cause you to be confident. It can cause you to be depressed. It can cause you to be happy. It can cause you to feel any fucking emotion at any time by artificially inducing them. This technology can also be used to induce and control dreams. It can be used to control dream cycles and sleep patterns. To cause one to sleep very deeply or to cause one to not sleep at all. And this technology can also be used to mimic spiritual experiences. Joy, love, peace that passes understanding can all be induced artificially by this technology to make the target believe that they are having a genuine spiritual experience when they're not. This technology can also be used to read the thoughts of the target verbatim as they occur within your own mind. This technology is so advanced and so sensitive that it can literally make you attracted to another human being and make another human being attracted to you. And in this way, they're playing matchmaker. They're playing Cupid and actually getting couples together and making them fall in love. They are also doing the opposite. They are also breaking couples up. They are breaking up families, husbands and wives. They are breaking up children from their parents. They are breaking up businesses and corporations. They are using this to manipulate society on every level for their own benefit and gain. And they are doing so with an attitude of complete immaturity and for lack of a better word, downright evil. It is infuriating. It is highly, highly illegal and it must be stopped now. 
They're looking at this as a massive game and a massive joke that they're playing on the target and the American people. It's horrible. It's horrifying. And it is a crime against humanity. This is something that needs to be dealt with in the Geneva Convention. This is something that needs to be dealt with in international courts. This is something that needs to be dealt with first and foremost by the Supreme Court of the United States. This is something that needs to be dealt with until we get to that point at the local and the state level. This is something that needs to be tackled by lawyers and civil rights advocates immediately. We need laws right fucking now to stop this thing because it is out of control and it is only getting worse. The entire population of the United States of America could conceivably be controlled by this one day. This is not something that is just messing with people and making their lives a bit inconvenient. This is something that has serious long-term psychological effects on the target. It is something that inflicts serious long-term damage physically on the target. They are being bombarded 24 hours a day, seven days a week by radio frequency signals, microwave signals that literally cook their body every single day and every single night. And as a result, they are aging as, at an accelerated rate. Their lives are being brought, their lives are being brought to a premature end by this technology. This technology radiates the teeth right out of people's mouths. This technology deteriorates the muscles of the individual. This technology deteriorate, deteriorates the joints and the bones of the targeted individual to a point where the, if they have been under the influence of this technology for many, many, many years, the long-term effects of it is that it will leave them completely crippled. And there are places you can go and you can see the long-term effects that this technology has on people in the homeless shelters that are located in Seattle, Washington. So if you are someone that is a part of this program and knows that every single word that I am saying is absolutely true, please get off your ass and do something about it. Stop going along with it. Speak out. Blow the whistle. Go to the authorities. Report it to everybody that you possibly can. Go to Congress. Go to your congressmen. Go to your senators. Go to your local law enforcement. Go to your neighbors, go to your family, go to your friends, spread the word of this far and wide so that we can relieve the suffering of these innocent victims, targeted individuals who are getting this shit beamed into their head every fucking day and are somehow managing to survive and to hold it together. I want to thank you. You are my hero. You are the reason that I am able to keep going every day. You're the reason that I have not given up. And you are the reason why I'm speaking out now about it as an industry insider and someone who has full knowledge of the entire workings of this entire program. I felt the responsibility to speak out to help people like you because my heart goes out to you every time I see you post something online. And I know there's millions more of you out there that have not been able to post anything online. And I want you to know that I support you. We all support you and we need to get through this together. But one of the things I'm concerned about is the technology as it's being researched and developed in Seattle utilizes emotion manipulation and behavior manipulation uh, without the gang stalking and without the voice to skull aspects. And so this use of the technology can be done very covertly to the point where the person it's being used against will not know that this technology is being used against them. And that is one of my main concerns and one of the reasons why I want to bring more light to this technology and to this issue because this technology could potentially be, be being used against tens to hundreds of millions of Americans every day. Because instead of using this, you know, as most people think, just against the individual, the targeted individual, there are applications of this technology that utilize it against entire populations. Anywhere from small groups of people, 10 to 20 to 100, to medium-sized groups of people, several thousand to, ten, to tens of thousands. This is done by creating a field effect, where an entire field of electromagnetic energy 
is created in a geographical location. And any human being within that geographical location, within the electromagnetic field affecting that geographical location, will be affected by the technology. This can be used to induce a general mood in a population or a crowd of people. It can be used to make them passive. It can be used to make them agitated. And this can be used to cause or stop, induce riots, stop crime, start crime, stop thoughts, start thoughts, massive mind control on a citywide level. And I know for a fact, having been an insider and actually been a part of this program and seen it operate on a day-to-day -day basis, I am aware that there are now entire cities in America that are nothing more but a massive social engineering experiment. There are field effects where they will not direct this technology at an individual, but create a general field of frequency in a geographical area so that everybody that within that geographical area is feeling the effects of the technology. It's more of a general application of the technology instead of an individual specific application of the technology. And I have seen this done and it is remarkable how effective it is because you will walk down the street of Seattle and literally see people all in a bad mood all at the same time and they do not know each other and then you go over a block or two to a different office building and you walk in and the exact same things going on there. It's very, um, it's very, very concerning. So within that then that overall bubble or, or, or area of frequency where everybody, let's say, is in a bad mood, they can still inject uh, what would be a individual specific frequency to the targeted individual themselves, let's say the homeless person in Seattle that's being experimented on 24 hours a day. So they will be under the influence of the general agitated mood or bad mood that everybody else is in, and then they can more further be manipulated by the frequency that's being directed um, solely at them. Maybe more than any other city, Seattle, Washington seems to represent what America is becoming. Amazon, Microsoft, Starbucks are all based in the city or its suburbs. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, lives there. But along with unfathomable wealth, there is also desperate poverty and widespread degradation. Seattle's homeless population is surging. The city is suffocating under garbage produced by hundreds of homeless camps. Local news broadcasts recently grabbed national headlines by warning that Seattle is dying. The city becomes unlivable for regular families. Do you think drugs are one of the primary drivers of homelessness? I think uh, mental health is. Mental health is the foundation of you know, a lot of you know, addiction and, and other things. Homelessness is complicated. Drugs aren't the only cause. Take a look at this picture of people living in broken down RVs. In the background, the world headquarters of Starbucks. Like most of the West Coast, Seattle's economic boom has not been distributed evenly, not close. When wages at the low end of the economic spectrum fail to keep up with the rising cost of living, you wind up with a place where people living in their cars are flanked by billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. So what causes homelessness? Everything that's done by this program is meant to have a psychological effect. And the psychological effect is meant to complement the effect that the technology is having on the individual so that they are brought to a place in their life where they're isolated, they're broke, they're unemployed, they have no family, they have no friends, and nobody in the general public can track or trace anything that's being done to them because the technology is remote and it's wireless and there's usually no physical signs left on the individual that anything is being done to them. City elites have launched a coordinated information campaign targeted at voters frustrated with the city's response to homelessness. Earlier this month, leaked documents revealed that a group of prominent nonprofits, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Campion Advocacy Group Fund, the Rakes Foundation, and the Balmer Group hired a PR firm, Pyramid Communications, to conduct polling, create messaging, and disseminate the resulting content through a network of silent partners in academia, the press, government, and the nonprofit sector. The campaign, hashtag Seattle for All, is a case study in what writer James Lindsay calls idea laundering. A very real risk that you are going to become a full-blown, 24-7 targeted individual. 
And this technology at that point, when it is nationwide, will be used by automated computer, supercomputer software programming uh, that will manipulate the emotions and the behavior and the thoughts of everybody in the United States of America. And it can all be done remotely. It's very much like the, the microchip kind of uh, tracking the New World Order, this entire, you know, uh, control grid that's supposed to be rolled out against the American people someday. And I'm here to tell you that uh, it's already here. There isn't going to come a day where there's troops in the streets and tanks rolling down uh, your neighborhood and riot gear and all this stuff. We might have isolated incidents like that. It might get them like that every once in a while. But the, the true control grid is this technology, voice to skull, hive mind, behavior manipulation technology. And it can all be done remotely. It can be done simply by targeting you with the frequency, locking into the resonant frequency of your DNA and your mind, and in that manner, completely track and trace and control you uh, 24 hours a day.